Hi, welcome to Breakout Bot Season 2. In the previous season of the Breakout Bot Diaries, we've built a Hello World version of an escape room. It was really basic, but it had a puzzle with a key in the door, some objects that you could interact with, and a really small inventory system as well. We built this by having some custom actions which are running over here, and that allowed us to interact with it via a shell which is running over here. And we got to the point where we had the basics running, and then we wondered what we should do next. Now, when you're designing a conversational experience like this one, I hope it's clear that there's a danger when it comes to making assumptions about what our users want. If I were to draw it out in the Venn diagram, there's things that I can do to optimize the conversation, but then there are other things, namely the things that my users want. And what I really want to do is make sure that this overlap is just really, really big. It'd be a shame if I spent time making changes that my users really don't care about that much. So in this season, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to collect my first user feedback. In particular, that means I'll do a couple of things. I'm going to set up Raza X locally. That's a tool that's going to make this collection of feedback very easy. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask three colleagues to play with this modest experience that I currently have. And then I'm going to look at their interactions so that I can find meaningful improvements. And if I think about meaningful improvements, the main themes that I'm interested in are, can I keep it fun? And when do I maybe lose people in this conversational flow? And I hope it's clear that this is much more of a qualitative aspect than a quantitative aspect. Yes, I care that my intents are predicted correctly, but the main goal is not to have a high accuracy. The main goal is to have a fun experience. And that's also why this collection of feedback is so important to do early on in the project, which is exactly what I'm doing. Now, the first thing that I gotta do is set up Raza X locally. So let's do that in the next video.